You can't rebound unless you're open. Throughout the pandemic, ABC Action News has been highlighting Bay Area businesses that are open. After a long and difficult year, civil axe throwing in Ybor City is finally back to doing what they love. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us why they erred on the side of caution before sharpening their axes. A lot of businesses have been trying to rebound from this pandemic and Civil Axe is starting their rebound pretty soon. They're reopening after they've been closed for about 10 months and they just showed me how to throw a double axe, so I'll try it out. Boom. Nailed it. Basically darts on steroids. We've been here for almost a year, but we've only truly been open for about two to maybe even three weeks. Scott Brewster is the vice president of sales and marketing for Civil Axe Throwing, a company with 15 locations across the country, their first venture in Florida. And we chose Ybor City because it's just got such a rich history and it's it's funky, it's unique, it just kind of like we are <laughs> as, a, as a company. When everything happened, we, we were just so hopeful that it'd be quick and, and then we could get back and reopen. But it's been anything but quick. We were on the fence. We, we want our, our team to be healthy and safe, so we didn't want to push it. Um, but now we feel more comfortable um, kind of in the atmosphere that we live in right now. Axe throwing comes with a lot of touch points to sanitize and close interactions with experts teaching you to throw and be safe. Oh, so one rotation one through? Rotation. Whoa. After a quick tutorial, you're good to go with one requirement. We just asked that um, closed toe shoes. That's probably our biggest uh, requirement. We we want people to walk in with 10 toes. We want people to walk out with 10 toes. My photographer, Reed Moeller, hit the mark, so maybe you'll have a little beginner's luck as well with one axe or two. In Tampa, boom. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.